Hello, Shapiro's. It's the Tamer again, and I am back with another custom action figure review. I haven't done one of those for a while, and definitely people told me they liked it when I did those. So, here are four great new ATAT -AT driver customs. As most of you know, that's my favorite character, and these are from the Imperial Shipyards customizers. Four different artists, actually five, kind of. I'll get to that one here in a second. But just some really, really neat custom action figures. And I wanted to just take a few minutes today just to kind of showcase what went into a few of them. Alright, give me a moment. Let's forward here a little bit. This first one here, as you can see, is kind of a Call of Duty Ghost meets. AT-80 driver. If any of you have watched Imperial Military Personnel stories, you may have seen in their second installment, they just had some awesome AT-80 driver door gunners. Man, did I fall in love with that particular character. And a fellow by the name of Black Sheep, who I wanted to get a custom from, he's always putting together just such awesome parts combinations created this version. I think most of you can recognize the signature weapon here which is actually from the movie Aliens. Maybe you remember that those bigger cannons those, I believe it was a guy and a gal carried. And I think the cord was originally designed that you see here to wrap around the gun a little bit but I don't know, I kind of like the look of it off, but that's easily achievable if I wanted to take that back. I kind of like how he's attached to his gun here. And you can see the belt pouches and just the really cool parts combinations. And we love the breather on the back here. Just really cool stuff. And when I got him, he was a different paint collar. And... I don't know, it was it was throwing me off a little bit. So I wanted to go back to the other colors. I kind of felt bad because I already had Black Sheep change the color for me once. So I enlisted the aid of another awesome customizer, Lucas Clones, my buddy Chad. And he added this great little, I don't know if you can see the you can see the skull emblem there and that little kind of hood cover. Once again, that was straight from Imperial Military Personnel stories. And he switched them back to kind of the gray and white that we're used to. Added some red highlights. And just really pushed this one over the top, in my opinion. So, so this is kind of a two-part customizer here. Main build by Black Sheep and some final sculpt and paint touch-up work by Lucas Clones. It's a really cool custom action figure. Alright. Next, we have this one from a customizer all the way from Austria. And his name is Fela Fernbug. Just a cool interpretation of what an AT-AT driver should have looked like when we saw him on Return of the Jedi. Nothing against ATST pilots. I really, really wanted to see an ATAT -AT driver in that cockpit with another ATAT -AT commander when we saw that walker coming up to the landing platform uh, on Return of the Jedi. You know, the scene where Luke was the prisoner and they were turning him over to Darth Vader. Anyhow, we didn't get to see that. I just showed the opening cargo door with an Imperial officer and I think it was a couple stormtroopers. But here is what the AT-80 -AT driver would have looked like sitting in that cockpit on the forest made of Endor. Just the, the paintwork here is just really crisp, really awesome, kind of a woodlands green camo pattern reminiscent of what I used to wear when I was in the army back in the latter 80s, early 90s. 
It's great detail work on the helmet too. Great, great. Got the little buttons on the breather on the front, painted perfectly. And I don't know if you can also see the custom E11 he made for this dude. Isn't that cool? And I've added a much more believable stock. Really cool. Once again, custom artist feel a firm rug. I just kind of know him as Christoph. And another neat thing about this one is he made me a version of this on a custom car back. This was when the Legacy Collection was out, so I'll get that out and show you sometime because I've got some awesome custom car work I want to get into sometime. But it's a great custom action figure. Next, <laughs> this is kind of Star Wars meets Zombies. I don't know if any of you has read. Death Troopers or Red Dawn, but I really enjoyed that novel arc. And when I first saw this particular customizer's action figures, he showcased it was a Boba Fett as a zombie, and I just thought, how cool. Of course, once again, my buddy Lucas Clones kind of got me into the zombie genre. I thought it was pretty cool. And so, of course, we interviewed him on Custom Action Figure News. And I'm just kind of teasing on there. Oh, you ought to make a make me a custom AT-80 driver. And darn if he didn't. And just look at this gruesome masterpiece. Ain't it great? I mean, he looks like he's been out roaming some backwoods planet for years. And he's got the, the arm that's all weathered, whitting away down to the bone. And I don't know if the high definition camera is going to do this justice, but one of the things I really liked about Triple T's work was the fact that he's just not content to like like the red that you see here on the blaster and the gore. And there's probably two or three different you know shades of red, you know, all the way down to I don't know if you can see the foot here and kind of the gore and the purple. I mean, there's like three or four different or maybe even five different shades of color here. It's one thing I really liked about his work and if you haven't yet seen some of the paint works he's put on some things you definitely need to get on pro shipyards and see but I don't even know this is just the right amount of gore. I mean this thing is an ugly bloody or gory it has an awesome hole in the helmet. You can see, even see the eye there. Of course would not be complete without being able to see. You know what I mean about the purple paint work in that just awesome, gruesome. Just a really neat figure. As you can see, I'm just enjoying kind of going down memory lane. All these have really good memories. Just perfect zombie custom. To go along with another great one that, once again, my friend Lucas Clones made me. It's a really cool action figure. And the last of the bunch is one that good friend, awesome customizer, Remco. Most people know him now. He has a handle, Mr. Black Customs. I've been after him for a while to make me a custom AT-80 driver, too. Usually I'll approach a custom artist and say, hey, just make me some version of an AT-80 driver. I'm usually not too picky usually uh, and look what he created isn't that awesome I think most of you can see the G.I. Joe influence here as far as the head but isn't she perfect isn't that just part on awesome of course you know that armor is removable if I want to take it off I don't mess with it because it just it seems perfect of course, you know, you get her helmet on, put the breather over. Just really what an Imperial Trooper ought to look like. Just gorgeous work. And something that just sorely needed, I think, not just in the Star Wars verse, but just along many different genres. The kind of the gal troopers and the gal action figures always seem to maybe play second fiddle to the boy ones. But my gal, she likes action figures, and if they made more stuff like this, I might still have her playing Star Wars with me on a daily basis. 
anyway just a great custom by Mr. Black still definitely one of my favorites great action figure and last but not least for this little customizing review I'm going to have to back up a little bit is just one of the neatest vehicles in my collection I think anybody that knows the customizer Luke Sproul Walker can recognize his work right away as this is him written all, written all over it as far as the paintwork and the additions most of you can recognize the base vehicle as being the part of the Force 2 Expanded Universe Snow Speeder. I'm inspired by McCory drawings. And this thing has been through the Battle of Hall, as you can see, which is how it should be. Of course, the guns rotate and of course you have an astromech socket which was so cool and of course the bottom is weathered just as well and I'm definitely going to create kind of an echo base hanger for this one day I'd have it in the works that's my plan Spry definitely one of my favorite custom vehicles of all time. Surprise made a few really neat ones. I think maybe perhaps his Norris Tretch on speeder bike still ranks right up there is maybe my still my favorite custom I've ever seen, but and that and that just a grand ship. Cool deal. Definitely looks like something you'd see a rebel pilot flying around in. Till you see the AT-80 driver pilot I have for this guy. I'll showcase him perhaps next time. Anyway, those are some of the awesome customizers at Imperial Shipyards. And if you've never visited the site, this is just a smattering of what you are missing. Out a little bit, and would also like to give a big old shout out there to the various customizers that created these for me. Once again, thank you, Luke Sprywalker, Mr. Black Customs, Black Sheep, and Lucas Clones for the finishing touches, <clears throat> Triple T Customs, and Fiello Fernbrug. Definitely some awesome custom artists and pretty sure if you look them up on the internet you can be able to find more work look for them in the Imperial Shipyards forum look for me to share more of these custom type videos I have quite a few different customs I'd like to showcase from the various artists and if you have a custom action figure or a custom AT-80 -AT driver you'd like to send for me to review hey I'm game I can be found at tamaretandperilshipyards.net or you can message me on this YouTube channel or send me an email. Thanks for watching folks.